63 percent done of 365 climate edits so hello my name is jan einali or user einali on the wikis i'm the co-founder of wikimedians for sustainable development and i've been around in the movement for quite some time hello and this project was inspired by a very great project, the 100 Wikidays Challenge, which is a challenge where you compete towards yourself or with yourself to create one new article a day for 100 days in a row. And many people have done this, and it's become a thing, and there's people doing it over and over and so forth. And two years ago in Wikimania, I was giving a talk about how we should use the sustainable development goals as our topics for impact, which is part of the strategy recommendations to, to select for that, and what topics to write about. And these two ideas sort of connected in my head. So for 2022, I had a New Year's, New Year's resolution, which I talked about in a podcast I'm creating, that I should make one new article about the climate per week and I was giving myself just one per week instead of one per day because uh, I knew I was very busy. But even that turned out to be too hard because writing articles about the climate, it's, it's a tricky topic. It requires a lot of research. So I failed quite miserably and I knew quite early. So I, I need to rethink this because I didn't want to give up on the idea. So what I came up with instead was, well, if I just make a small edit, then I can build a habit. And if I make a small edit, I can make it more often. And that will also be better to build a habit. So why don't I try to make at least one edit every day for a full year? And that was the idea behind the 365 climate edits to really get into the topic space and get a feel for what's happening always stay up to date and always adding and improving incrementally like we do on the Wikimedia projects. So how is this going then? Well, it's quite fun and it's uh, actually building a habit and the edits themselves aren't that hard. It's uh, usually quite quick to make the edit and the fun and the tricky part is to figure out what to edit in because there's so much things that you can do. And I'll show you a few examples later. But life is also unpredictable and hard sometimes. And my father passed away, but thanks to already building a habit, this also helps me in a sense to get a sense. I, I managed to edit even through that period. However, falling in love was even harder because that made me miss one day. So I'm one day uh, not done with this edit. But it's not only me who's on this challenge, on this journey. So there's 14 other people to join, and anyone can join at any time. Uh, it hasn't to be an exact calendar year. Uh, so you can join in whenever you want, and you just note your date, and then try to go for 365 days in a row. And you can be as hard on yourself as, as you want to. This is mostly a challenge for yourself to build a habit in the 100 Wikidays challenge, people are usually very hard on themselves and start over. So you, you, you do as you want with that. But it's also very hard to get good statistics on this uh, because we're doing this across all different projects. There is a tool, uh, a hashtag search tool, where if you add a hashtag in your uh, edit summary, you can search for them there. But it has a few drawbacks. So. For one, it doesn't scan Wikidata at all yet. I don't know why, but uh, that's uh, that's the case. So those edits are sort of missing in the tool, and I edit Wikidata a lot. So this is the the challenge is not to prove to anyone else; it's to prove to yourself. So if you know you made an edit, that's that's fine. And then it's also hard, like if you upload a Wikimedia a image to Wikimedia Commons, that won't give you normally a chance to do a, an edit summary. And the same if you use the translation tool, uh, then you can't. And then you might think, why aren't you using a dashboard? But of course, this is just one edit per day. And most Wikimedians are 
much more active than so. So that would sort of totally be a mess in that if you try to track one uh, Wikimedians edits for a, an entire year, it will be all over the place. Uh, or you would have to sort of manually add each article and even that would be messy. So I see this mostly as a way to for yourself to uh, complete the challenge and we'll take your word for it if you do. And then if we think about edits, it's very hard. So we can sort of estimate that on this Thursday when this is on Wikimania, if taking consideration when, when people were joining, then we should have over 3,000 edits. There, no one has reported themselves to have dropped out. And if everybody completes a year, these 14, that will be over 5,000 edits. But of course, you can also join at right now and make this number even higher. But then again, it's not about the number per se. I think this is about building a habit to be connected to the topic area, to get your feels for what's going on and what's needed, what's missing, and what you like to be doing. Because it, even if this is a challenge, it's supposed to be a fun challenge and edit out of joy. So let's show a couple of examples of what people have been doing over the time. And very uh, straightforward thing is to correct grammar, grammar or correct typos. Here we see just a verb being changed. And you see the 365 climate edits hashtag in the edit summary. So that's how we can find them like this. Or you can add sources, always valuable. You, even if you don't need add extra text to it, uh, that will be super good for the next reader that comes here. Or you can add media. If you find on commons not being used, there's even campaigns about this. I think it's called WPWP campaign, Wikipedia wanting pictures or something like that. Uh, so that is also uh, very good. And you can sort of compete uh, or be in two challenges at the same time. Or you can go out and take photos of things that are connected. and. Here's uh, an electric car with solar roof, which is sort of connected to climate, but you can also in Wiki Loves Earth uh, find this, or there are other campaigns like Wiki for Human Rights uh, also fits into this, even though that's not a photo challenge. And you can edit Wikidata, and those are very atomic, so it's quite easy, uh, but it's often also very valuable to add these small things because that connects the net and makes things queryable. So even this edit that seems quite small makes it possible to connect which laws are connected to uh, global warming, which might be a super interesting query in the future. Or you can do something a little bit more uh, uh, with sources, which is always good. And here we can also see me trying to use the 365 climate edits on Wikidata, but it does not show up in the tool. Uh, hashtag search tool. And then, of course, you can create like scenes on Wikidata. Uh, and here's an example of something I did in one day. But of course, this is there maybe 10 edits uh, to get it because it's so, but they're also quite small. So sometimes I like to just do a, like a small task in on Wikidata, even if it's more than one edit, I, I think that's uh, quite fun. And it's also quite fun, fine and fun. And then we have our great translation tool, which I really uh, enjoy working with. Uh, but it also has the drawback. You can't really add the hashtag in it. But often, you also need to go in and polish it afterwards. There's uh, a few things. And sometimes you, some things you might be missing, uh, some templates uh, that you use in your wiki that wasn't in the source wiki that you go in it. And then, you, of course, you can add the hashtag in those edits. So I invite you all to join the 365 Climate uh, Edits. Uh, it's a challenge for yourself. And you just sign up, and you start. And you can start today, or you can start tomorrow, or in a week. It doesn't really matter. It's a challenge for yourself to build your own habit. Thank you.